Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nobskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. I'm just saying that Violet didn't have to yell at us for not fixing the elevator before she did. I can't believe she made you cry like that. She said some very hurtful things. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Otso Berg, the big star of the Anami training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Master Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? 
<laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid! Oh. Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore! You're a tool! A weapon! A plaything! We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! You have exceeded my every expectation. Use that terminal to upload Shay's story to the Assassin Network. I am super impressed, Nopskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here.
the royal palace at Versailles, Louis the Sixteenth, and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, numbskull. Ah, Shay! You certainly look prepared to meet royalty. Perhaps King Louis himself will grant you an audience. I doubt even these breaches will get me into the King's chambers. Besides, I'm only here to see a business acquaintance. Yes, I heard a group of merchants would be here today. They might come see my scientific demonstration later. They really should. They might learn something. Though I wouldn't count on their being present. I take my leave. Thank you again, Master Franklin. Now to find Charles and that damned box. That's him, Charles Dorian. That's him, Charles Dorian. when we stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What shall we do now?
Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. Arno? Where have you gone? Just finishing old business. <sighs> oh, Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. And perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shea Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American Right. I am an older man now. And perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended. And another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history, and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. 
There's no turning back now. You got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us. And for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.